Super Bowl Sunday. There, you know, we even wearing the, the outfit number 15. There, you know. Hope everybody had a really great week. Hope everybody has got a bulletin. Uh, as a reminder, there, you know, we're, uh, we're 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 focusing on on what's on the bulletin, and uh, and you know, on the slides up here for information on what's coming up and who to contact with. I will just uh, put a quick plug in that the. The nominating committee is going to start doing their their thing, and uh, I know Tammy's involved with that. And there, as a I'm talking about your nominating committee, Tammy. There you go. So, um, uh, so that's really important there that you're you're plugged into what God wants you to do here at Grandview Baptist Church. And I guarantee it's not just sitting on the bench and watching everybody else. Do. He wants you to be in the middle of of, of something here here. So be in prayer definitely for for that there. And so with that, I think we're going to go ahead and get started there. All right. Well, good morning, brothers and sisters. It's good to be in God's house, just like Brother John said. We're going to start with our uh, responsive reading. So if y'all please stand in honor of Christ. Open your hymnals to the back on page 858, 858. And responsive reading number 19, which is titled Humility. It's just got two parts, but it's important nonetheless. 858, number 19, all the way in the back. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> Make your own attitude that of Christ Jesus, who existed in the form of God, did not consider equality with God as something to be used for his own advantage. Instead, he emptied himself by assuming the form of a slave, taking on the likeness of men. For you know the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, although he was rich, for your sake he became poor, so that by his poverty you might become rich. Amen. Well, friends, our first hymn is uh, Love Lifted Me on 107. Love Lifted Me. Um, it's pretty standard to how we sing it. I will say that at the end, the last Love Lifted Me, a little slower <laughs> than, than we're used to, and it goes like this. It's love lifted me. I mean, it's, it's that slow. I don't know why, but it is. <laughs> uh, no key change, though, in all three verses. So go ahead, Christy.
let's go back to 624. 624, since Jesus came into my heart. We will only do three of the four, <clears throat> excuse me, verses on this one. So um, let's do one, two, and three, okay? One, two, and three. <clears throat> seas and bellows <laughs> goes with your sermon I didn't plan that <laughs> I didn't plan it all right <clears throat> I'm Troy Sadowski University of Georgia's first all-american tight end I had the opportunity to play 10 years in the NFL for six different teams I really did not have a church background we only went to uh, church on special occasions and holidays and when we did go uh, I never got anything out of it. For me, it never stopped in. They quoted scripture, they talked about scripture, but they never talked about that personal relationship with Jesus Christ that he desires to have with each and every one of us. The Lord used four people in my life, kind of like the uh, uh, friends in Mark chapter two. One was a high school football coach, uh, a college football coach, uh, a teammate in the NFL. <laughs> And then uh, finally, a, a member of the church, uh, First Baptist Church in Woodstock, when I walked through uh, the doors of high school, uh, the very first time uh, Jim Cable was after me, he asked me to come to the Fellowship Christian Athletes event. And I turned him down because I really wasn't sure uh, what it was all about. I didn't want to go. And then finally, I got to the point where I needed to get him off of my back. So I figured, I'm going to go ahead and go. This was the first time in my life that the gospel of Jesus Christ was laid out, presented to me, and I chose to ignore him. And in college, a uh, position coach, Charlie Whitmore and his wife, they invited us to church, they invited us to Sunday school. We would go with them, but all I was doing was checking the box. Uh, and then in the NFL, I got to a low point uh, in my life that um, uh, it was a very dark time. I was just wandering through life. There was no purpose, uh, there was no meaning. Ken Moyer was an offensive line that came to me and, and brought me to a men's prayer group and I went with them. Again, I was just checking the boxes. And it wasn't until uh, I went to the First Baptist Church of Woodstock and heard Johnny Hunt preach uh, that I really understood what the gospel was all about. There was a problem in my life 
and that problem was me. And uh, I needed to do something about that. I accepted Jesus Christ in my life. Things changed, and it has just been incredible. He's opened up doors I never thought possible. I now have the opportunity to travel around the country and share my testimony to uh, thousands of people. And it's just been incredible. We all have a story. A wise man once told me that we're all of the story once told and will never be told again. And that your story is unique. So tell that. The Lord may not allow you to touch thousands, but He may allow you to touch one that will touch thousands. We never know when that opportunity is going to come. So always tell people, be ready, because you never know. You need to be bold. Uh, and I know that that can be difficult sometimes in the certain situations that you're put in. And it might not be within your comfort zone to be talking to those people, to ask those people. Pray that the Lord open up that opportunity and to give you the words to use. If we're specific in our prayer, He's going to answer those. He's going to give us that information that we need and give us that opportunity. The first 31 years of my life, I was as lost as a duck in the desert. I was lucky that the Lord brought four people into my life. But it just takes one. Step out, because you never know how the Lord's going to use you. I'm Troy Sadowski, former NFL football player. I have my one. Who's your one? thank you for this day, Lord. And, uh, I'd like to give a special thanks to all the ladies that worked so hard for that beautiful dinner they had for us last night, Lord. And just thank you for all that this church means to me and all that they do for the community, Lord. And uh, Lord, I just pray that these tithes today will be uh, used to glorify you, Lord. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. 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 <laughs> Friends, we can remain seated for this hymn, uh, and that will be 628, hymn 628, He Touched Me. <clears throat> um, there's only two verses, um, but we will repeat the chorus twice at the end, so it's the only, only thing we need to remember. He Touched Me, go ahead.
It says, as he made me whole. Yeah. Y'all got louder on that second course. Children's Church. 